everyone, welcome to Rhyme and Story Time. The word of the week is library. So, what is a library? A library has lots of different books for people to use or to borrow. Some libraries have children's programs like story time. Libraries are a fun place to be. However, there are some rules that everyone must follow. No food or drinks in the library. You must use an inside voice. If you bring a book home, you must return it on time so others can enjoy the book too. The library has so many books that you can read. And if you have a library card, you can even check them out and bring them home. Let's read Amelia Bedelia's first library card and see what happens when Amelia Bedelia gets her very own library card. Amelia Bedelia's first library card by Horman Parrish. Amelia Bedelia loved books and she loved to read. That's why she was so happy the day her teacher, Mrs. Edwards, took the class to visit the town library. Welcome to the library, said the lady in the lobby. I am Mrs. Riley, the children's librarian. We have lots of great things to show you. But first, one rule. There is no food or drink allowed in the library. We don't want any icky sticky books, do we? No, shouted the class. Amelia Bedelia quickly finished her juice box. She wasn't really supposed to be drinking it anyway. She looked around for a place to put it. The library really is great, she thought as she shoved her juice box into the handy trash can just for kids. Now, let me show you how to return a book, said Mrs. Riley. You just slip it in here, like this. She slid the book through the slot. Let's go see where it went and what happens next. Uh-oh, thought Amelia Bedelia. Everyone followed Mrs. Riley to see the bins that caught the books. She reached into one bin and pulled out a crumpled juice box. We'll check this into the trash, she said, dropping it into the garbage. See why we don't like food or drinks in the library? This book is wet and sticky. Now come with me, said Mrs. Riley. Let me introduce you to Thomas B. at the circulation desk. He is checking books in and checking books out too. Hey kids, said Thomas B. Who wants to check in a book? Everyone took a turn with the book scanner. Beep, beep, beep. The librarian showed the class how books were sorted onto carts. Wheel through the library and put back exactly where they belong. We have books on every subject you can think of, said Mrs. Riley, from history to art to sports to science. And there are lots of good stories in the stacks, too. Amelia Bedelia didn't see any stacks. She looked around for something in piles like hay or pancakes. But all she could see were shelves of books. At last, they arrived at the children's room. This is my favorite place, said Mrs. Riley. Please make yourself at home. Hey, said Skip, the fish are afraid of me. They can read, Amelia Bedelia said. Your shirt makes them feel like lunch. Mrs. Riley went to her desk and picked up a bundle of plastic cards. She removed the rubber band and put it on her wrist. This is my librarian jewelry, she said, smiling. Then she gave the cards to Mrs. Edwards. Here is a library card for each one of you, said Mrs. Edwards. Now you can check out books whenever you like. The whole class cheered. Remember when we talked about how a library works, chickadees? Asked Mrs. Edwards. The library shares the books with everyone in town. That's right, said Mrs. Riley. When you check one out, you are taking a turn with it. At our library, your turn lasts for three weeks. Penny raised her hand. What if you don't return your book on time? Well, you can renew it and get extra time, said Mrs. Riley. But if you keep it past the due date, you get a fine. That sounded okay to Amelia Bedelia. Getting a fine was not as good as getting an excellent, but it wasn't as bad as getting a terrible. We have a few minutes before we have to head back to school, said Mrs. Edwards. Please choose one book, then use your new library card to check it out. I'd like to check out this chapter book, said Dawn. Terrific, said Mrs. Riley. Let's try my finger test. She opened Dawn's book to the first chapter. As she moved her finger across the page, Dawn read each word out loud. 
Wonderful, said Mrs. Riley. This is a perfect book for you. Now, does anyone need help? Mrs. Riley showed them where to find the chapter books and picture books. She showed them where to find books about famous people and books about animals and books by their favorite authors. Mrs. Riley even showed them a special shelf of audiobooks. These are for kids who like to read with their ears, she said. Amelia Bedelia decided she wanted to learn to read with her eyes first. With so many books, it was hard for Amelia Bedelia to choose just one. She held up her finger, closed her eyes, and twirled around and around. Aha! The winner of her finger test was on the top shelf. Those are for the older kids, said Mrs. Riley. They're over your head. I know, said Amelia Bedelia. That's why I need help. Come with me, said Mrs. Riley. I bet you'll like these books better. They're exactly at your level. Mrs. Riley was right. Amelia Bedelia could reach them all. She chose a book about cupcakes and got in line behind Teddy. Hey, Amelia Bedelia, said Teddy. Which one should I get? Yeah, yelled Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Riley raised both eyebrows. Sorry, said Amelia Bedelia. I thought a T-Rex was going to bite off my nose. I can't wait to read this to my little brother, said Teddy. He handed his other book to Amelia Bedelia. Here, check this one out. Amelia Bedelia opened the book slowly and carefully. No teeth, no scales, no dinosaurs. This was about clouds and the weather. Next, said Thomas B. I'm just checking this out, said Amelia Bedelia. Looks interesting, said Thomas B. May I see it, along with the library card? Amelia Bedelia handed him both. Beep! Here you go, said Thomas B. It's due back in three weeks. Oh no! Amelia Bedelia was about to shout. Wait! That's a mistake! I didn't want that book about clouds. I want this book about cupcakes. But just then, Mrs. Edwards called. Time to go back to school! Amelia Bedelia was furious. On her way out, she glared at the book return slot. She felt like shoving that silly weather book right in there this minute. But then she wouldn't have a book to take home. This was supposed to be a great visit, but it had started out badly and ended worse. Amelia Bedelia was still upset when she got home. She headed straight for her swing set and swang as high as she could, trying to kick every cloud out of the sky. Then she lay down in the grass and looked up. As the clouds got bigger and bigger, Amelia Bedelia imagined she could see all sorts of wonderful and happy things in them. She took her library book out of her backpack. She had just found the page to describe the big stormy cloud above her when her mother called, Amelia Bedelia, Aunt Mary is here. Yippee, yelled Amelia Bedelia. Aunt Mary brought Amelia Bedelia a fancy purse the perfect place to carry her new library card. Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. This turned out to be a great day after all. You sound like you're on cloud nine, said Aunt Mary. Amelia Bedelia couldn't wait to look up cloud nine in her book. Boom, when a clap of thunder, it began to pour. Her book! Oh no, said Amelia Bedelia. She ran to the rescue. I'll be right back. We can't go outside, young lady, said her mother. It's too dangerous. Another enormous boom rattled the windows. The lightning and thunder and rain didn't let up. It stormed all afternoon and all through the night. Amelia Bedelia couldn't fall asleep for a long time. When she finally did, she dreamt about storm clouds filled with horrible, scary things. The next day was sunny, but Amelia Bedelia's library book was completely soaked. The pages looked all wrinkled like her fingers did when she stayed in the bathtub too long. Amelia Bedelia was too upset to eat her breakfast. Is something wrong? her father asked. You look under the weather. I'm okay, she said, but my library book was under the weather all night. Yikes, said her father, it's practically pulp. Amelia Bedelia let out a sob. She thought only orange juice had pulp. Oh, sweetie, accidents happen, said her mother. I'll take you to the library after school, and you can explain everything. That afternoon, Amelia Bedelia and her mother went to the library. My, oh my, said Mrs. Riley. You really did read up a storm. Amelia Bedelia's mother smiled and offered to replace the book. Thank you, Mrs. Riley said. 
Amelia Bedelia, I can tell that you love books as much as I do. She put a rubber band on Amelia Bedelia's wrist. Here is an official librarian's bracelet just for you. Thanks, said Amelia Bedelia. I know you don't have food in the library, but I brought her a cupcake to say I'm sorry. Hmm, said Mrs. Riley. Can I pass my finger test? Can you really read a cupcake? Amelia Bedelia asked. Mrs. Riley took a swipe of frosting and tasted it. Yummy, she said. Amelia Bedelia, I'm glad you brought this in for me to check out. Amelia Bedelia had so much fun with her library card. Do you have a library card? I do. You might be reading a book and have to stop for a moment, but you don't want to lose your page. So you might use a bookmark. Let's make this cute, warm bookmark. We got the idea from learningcolor.com. You will need scrapbook paper or cardstock, scissors, small googly eyes, glue, marker, a small lid, and a pencil. Using a pencil, trace your lid onto some paper so that you have five circles. Cut out your five circles. Glue your circles into a wavy line. Glue your googly eyes to the head of the worm. Now draw a smile or another funny face underneath. Now you have a cute bookmark to put in your favorite book. Grammar story time is over for today. Have you ever been to the library? Join me next week when the word of the week is winter. Thanks for watching. Bye!